I am here to talk about. Little, oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Books! I want something. I never win things. So. My channel Hannah Fleming Hill um, kind of infrequently talking about faith life and learning um, I'm back um, minus some hair um, feels a bit weird um, but I'm quite loving it to be honest today is it looks more 60s it, the first few days and um, we only did it kind of Sunday um, it was looking quite 80s and I think it still is a little bit I need to get this red out and to get it go back to brown and then uh, hopefully it'll be alright. Anyway, so I'm here to talk to you today about something quite wonderful that happened to me online. You, you know, we all know those Instagram competitions. Uh, tag three friends, you know, and you could win whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and that's all very well and good and, you know, tagging people would what does it really matter you never win well I never win I never win anything you know always in school come second third never really win anything so probably actually a couple of weeks ago I happened to see on the um, LICC so the London Institute for Contemporary Christianity I saw on their Instagram page you could win now I'm gonna get it all I have to get it all right now um the John Stott works the collection mm, could win the collection of John Stott works um, as part of their anniversary, um, 50 year anniversary. And I thought, oh, that could be good, useful for uni. More on that soon. Um, in September, you know, ex do more reading, stuff like that. That's really important. Anyway, I just thought I'll tag, you know, I'll tag some friends in it. So I tagged some friends. Um, nah, sort of forgot about it, as you do. Um, and then I got a message. Um, and um, was it have been the all same day? No, it was a week after I had some other good news. Yeah, it was a week after I had some other good news. Again, share some more about that later. Um, and they said, oh, you've won. How wonderful. I never win things. And yeah, so the books have arrived. So I'm going to do an unboxing of the books, which, you know, it's not as if they're that different and I do know what they are, but I thought I would do it. So I'm um, actually surprisingly um, all packed quite well. I don't know why I thought they would be massive books, but that's all very well good. So Josh says I always unpack things wrong. Like I always get very confused by which side is meant to be which. So, oh. Little, oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Um, what does this say? L I C C winner, winner, winner. You don't be able to see that. Anyway, that um, ah, is so lovely because again, I never win things. So let's have a look at the books. So I'm just taking them out as any any order. Basic Christianity. Vicky Yumble says, explains complex and difficult issues with great insight and wisdom. Who was Jesus? Why was he crucified? Did he really rise from the dead? Is it plausible that he was truly divine? Ooh. So probably, you know, the good basics. Good. The radical disciple, wholehearted Christian living. What is the life of a radical disciple? At root, it means that we let Jesus set the agenda of our lives. We don't pick and choose. We don't select what's cosy and avoid what's costly. He is Lord of all life. Ooh, ah, in Joel Stott's final book. What's the last one? Anyway, I saw this one, quite excited because I like the word radical. And, you know, I, I kind of discipleship's mulling around a lot in my mind at the moment so um yeah mm. look forward to that one why am i a christian a clear compelling account of the basis of the author's belief cool why jesus perhaps you have a funny feeling that god wants your attention or maybe you're intrigued by what you've heard about jesus or maybe you're simply looking for meaning and direction oh that's cool 
Mm. I think that's a kind of good one. Um, and thinking about why we have our faith. And especially as someone who doesn't have some sort of fantastical discipleship story. Oh, not to testimony, some fantastical testimony. Testimony. Um, you know, I think actually having those, it's not arguments, because I don't want to argue about, argue to you about why I believe this, but yeah, to have those reasonings, I suppose is the better word. So book number four, but I say to you, Christ the controver, now I'm going to get stuck on this, controversial, controversialist um hmm Jesus meek and mild think again Jesus was con con <laughs> I can't read Jesus was controversial and he still is today he debated his contemporaries on basic questions like who is God how do we obey scripture how are we saved how should we live morally and how can we worship authentically Ooh. Again, I just all of these books I'm so excited to read. Um, and, you know, again, radical and the fact that we are called to not be of this earth and, you know, be different. You know, I think it's good. Next one, Evangelical Truth, a personal plea for unity and faithfulness. Evangelical is a loaded word and evangelism is divided. Does evangelical represent convictions worth standing for? Mm. Now, I'm going to admit something. I don't always understand. Like, I know what evangelism... Oh, that says evangelicalism is divided. So not what I just said. But I get, I get evangelism. I suppose it's probably, it probably is a completely different word. But evangelical... I don't always get it. So, that's a good one. Um, yeah, oh, I quite like that. That'll be a good one. The Living Church, the convictions of a lifelong pastor. What exactly does Living Church look like? John Stott identifies the marks of authentic or Living Church, these biblical marks are timeless and need to be preserved. We are called to become learning churches, caring churches, worshipping churches and evangelising churches. So, mmm, looking forward to that. Oh. And again, a bit more things. Um, whole church thing. I love church, I love my church, I love working with churches, but this whole, like, I just think there's more to it in that it's not just a Sunday service and it's about living, that's what, living church, but it's it's it being a whole part of our lives. So I guess that's a whole, like where I think about the discipleship is more important than what a lot of the time we make out it to be. Uh, calling Christian leaders, rediscovering radical servant ministry. Contemporary models of Christian leadership are often shaped more by culture than by Christ. Ineffective leadership, overbearing authority, and burnout are endemic. That's good. Ooh. I'm not really a leader, but it's good for me to be prepared. And the chunkiest, oh, and it's gold, oh, the cross of Christ. Oh, and include study guide, wow. What does the cross mean? Why did Jesus have to die? In his magisterial and best-selling book, John Stott explains the significance of Christ's cross. Discover how Jesus himself understood the cross and how Christ in our place is at the heart of its meaning. Understand what the cross achieved and learn what it means to live under the cross. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, look how pretty it is. That's so shiny. Oh, wow. Gosh. So that is, I mean, okay, I'm gonna just say, firstly, visually, ooh, it's all different colors. <laughs> That's just incredible, isn't it? Um, wow. This is amazing. And to be honest, I don't even wanna think about how much that would have ended up costing me if I'd have actually bought all of these. Um, it's just fantastic. It's 
very lovely to have won them. Um, but I have to say a huge, huge thank you to the London Institute of Contemporary Christianity. So they haven't asked me to do anything for this. So this is completely off their own back that I wanted to share that I'd won these. I probably will try to do um, some reviews on them, hopefully. No, I will do. I'm going to do reviews on these books because I'm going to read them and share them. I'm sure they will be of interest in one way or another, wherever you are on your journey of faith and um, exploration. I, I think, you know, they're just, they'll be really useful. So I will sh come back and share more on that in the future. But again, thank you so much to um, LICC. Thank you to you, viewer, for watching and um, sticking with me the whole time. If you're new, please could you like this video and subscribe because that does help. Um, I am trying to do more videos but exploring life as a millennial Christian in the 21st century. Um, but I pray everyone is doing well. I hope you're all having a great week in this wonderful British summertime that we're having obviously. Um, it's raining here in Plymouth as I film, um, but as I say, I pray that everyone is doing well and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!